Williams making some noise here at Welsh Ryan Arena. A welcome sound. A really nice crowd here. I would say it's filled to close to capacity I here. I don't see any empty seats. It'll be a physical game, it usually is. Physical and close. Chase guarding Illinois' leading scorer. Drops it off right. Baseline stolen by Onesia. He took it away from danger. A feed to the elbow to Nicholson. Backs his way in. Up and under. Move. Left hand layup. Good. 6 0 Northwestern. Great start here for Northwestern. They're playing with real energy. And right now, this, this atmosphere is really cool. They need him to be a factor, and so far here tonight, he's done just that with 10 points in the first half. He's doing everything here tonight but selling popcorn. Inside of seven minutes now, entertaining start to this rivalry. Barron, oh, over Dane Danger, and the foul. Robbie Barron to the rack with authority. That was man's side. That time he said, come and get it. Welcome to the Big Ten, Dave Danger, huh? Posterized. Final minute, first half. Here's Adige, pulls up for three. Yes! Chase Adige, three-pointer! First four minutes in the second half. Oh, my God! Well, Dave, we said they're not going to go away. This is going to be another one of those down to the wire games between the Wildcats and the Fighting Illini. Illinois turns a four point deficit into a four point lead with 17.02 to go. Julian Roper wins this win out to Verhoeven for a 15-footer. Good! Mid-range jumper for Titus Verhoeven. Audige from the wing. He has been the man. He's got 18. Just get the feeling that somebody else needs to come along with Chase Audige and give him some help. Roper, baseline drive. Roper into the paint. Bounces to the corner. Barnheiser a three. Good! And the Wildcats are in front. Here's Barry, an open three. Yeah! Ty Barry! 9.28 to go. Here's Barry, he'll take a three. Good! Ty Barry with his second three pointer here in the second half. They're on a 13 0 run, and they lead by eight, their largest lead of the game. Now the Illinois fans heading out, the Northwestern fans are on their feet. Especially the students. They're enjoying this moment. It's all over. 73-60. The Wildcats defeat their in-state rivals and get to two and one in the Big Ten. Huge win, Dave. Holding the Illini 18 points below their average uh, for the game. I'm so happy for this team that they win a tough game and they lost the lead, fought their way back, and the way they did it was just so phenomenal. If you could bottle this performance defensively for this team and the way they played offensively together, you know, there's going to be some special things that happen for this team uh, throughout the rest of this season. Now as we head down to Indiana, a very tough place to play, 
they've got to bring that same physical mindset to the game against the Hoosiers because that's got that's uh they're a very good team and uh, Assembly Hall is no joke to go in there and play a Big Ten game. Indiana has won eight straight, nine of their last ten at home, dating back to last season. They're perfect so far this year. Share the ball, be together, okay? Be tough, be mature, be poised. That's what you got to do, and we've done it. This isn't anything you guys haven't done. You guys have done it at home. You've done it on the road. we got to go out there with great purpose today and go get this game. All right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We don't do it. One, two, three. Let's go, guys. Go on the road in places like this. It's all about how you start. You have to avoid that knockout punch. Yeah, because you can get buried quickly here if you're not prepared. What do you do for an encore? Great win over Illinois on Wednesday night. Playing at home in front of a very friendly crowd. It's a much different kind of crowd they're going to face here in Bloomington. Cross-court feed for Audi. out between the rigs. Barron, he'll put up a three for the right. Good, Robbie Barron. Three pointer comes up smiling. Here's Barnheiser, left side angle three is good for Brooks Barnheiser. 25 13 Northwestern. The Wildcats have hit five three pointers on eight shots. Here's Audige to Bowie, an open three, right wing good. Boo Bowie, three pointer. He's got nine, and the Wildcats have 30. 30 to 17. You've got to be able to score points and shoot the ball well on the road, and they're getting high percentage shots out of their offense. Audige with the wiggle finds Nicholson underneath. Jackson Davis on the dribble in the high post. Hand off Shafino open for three. He got it. Yeah, and right. it's a five point game, 35 30. So here we go, second half. Cats up by seven. They led by. 17 before Indiana reeled off 10 straight. Only one turnover for Northwestern. No points off turnovers for Indiana. That has been a huge story in this game. There's Bowie gets a screen from Barron out to Audige for three. Good, Chase Audige. Boy, when you need one, he delivers. This Northwestern ball club is an NCAA tournament team. There's Boo Booey driving to the basket, layup, good. He flew right past Jackson Davis. Aaron knocks it away and has a steal. Boy, they run into a buzzsaw in the Northwestern Wildcat. Down low, puts up a little floater with the right hand and scores 72-59. Listen, Boo Booey is taking it to the hole every single time. The Wildcats survive a late run by the Hoosiers. The first time they have won two straight road games against Indiana since 1968. They're not perfect, but they did a lot of terrific things today. Boo Booey played one of the best games that I've seen him since he's been here at Northwestern. This team just getting... Big performances from different players at the right time has made this team a really dangerous team to play.